<laughs> okay, Google. What's the weather? Currently in Brantford, it's minus 7 and mostly cloudy. Due to current wind conditions, it feels like it's minus 12. Good morning guys, hope you guys are doing well. I just woke up and I made this breakfast wrap. Just put some eggs, some peppers, some old chicken tinga that I made on Thursday night because I did taco night actually. I put some bacon in as well and I am so pumped. Mm. So last Thursday I actually did taco night with one of my roommates and we went all out. We made like chicken tinga, we made minced beef, guac, pico de gallo. So bomb. So I used some of those leftovers, put in this wrap. Yeah, so to be honest, I normally don't have like this big of a breakfast on my school days, but since the weekend, I trying to eat more, make a bigger breakfast, start my day right. So I'm just gonna finish this wrap right now, and I got lots to talk about today, so stick around. Actually, it's kind of hot. Let me just change. There you go. So it's a pretty stressful time of the year right now, to be honest, with finals approaching, the end of the semester. And I know some of you high school seniors out there are getting ready for uni, college, and post-secondary apps. So today I want to share my personal experience and the one tip that I think is the most important when applying to post-secondary. Before I tell you this one tip, I just want to talk about my high school journey from senior year to first year. I went to a predominantly Asian high school and the environment was honestly very competitive and I fell into a bit of that peer pressure of like wanting to go into the sciences and the STEM field. I loved bio and I still love bio so I applied to life sciences and I applied to Western University for life science or general science I believe and I actually made it in but when it came around to second semester I was not doing so well with my grades and I wasn't doing so well up here in the head emotionally. So I thought about it and I definitely couldn't imagine myself in post-secondary studying the same thing I was studying in high school because I was just so stressed and my mental health was definitely suffering. So I decided to just ditch it. I gave up on my sciences. I still have a huge passion for science, but it's definitely not what I want to do right now. So at that time, I was definitely pretty lost. A lot of my friends had already gotten their acceptances and I was just there thinking, what am I gonna do? I have no idea what I wanna do. And my one tip is that it's okay to not know what you wanna do. I'm in my second year of university and I still don't know exactly what I wanna do. I know a bunch of people who already finished their undergrad and they still don't know what they wanna do. Like we're so young, like we have so much time to explore what we wanna do. Morning, are you down to film? Yay! Ugh. I'm so proud of that. I need your Anis. Anis, have a seat. <laughs> okay, so basically, I already told Kira, yeah. but this video is about passion and how to find what you want to do by just doing it. I'm gonna change my hoodie. Okay. <coughs> Hello. This is gonna be the longest video because... 
Hannes just walks in to Kira's room and be like, Kira! Kira! Oh, welcome back. <laughs> Seek discovery. Yo, show off the back. Show off the back. Yo, flex on them. <laughs> I had to. I had to. Jeez, big man. <laughs> Shout out to Yes Theory. Okay, so yeah, Kira and I already had a bit of a conversation yesterday, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to ask like both of you guys, how did you guys come to the decision of choosing Laurier? My mom forced me. <laughs> what? My mom's like, oh, if you don't go to university, I'm kicking you out the house. So I'm like, oh, Laurier has a game design program and a criminology program. I got accepted to both. Oh, you know what? I'll go for game design just because I want to do less work. But like, you already like, we're into like games and everything, right? So it just helped make that decision too. Yeah. Right? Game design's ruining games for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about you, Kira? How did you choose Lori? Um, well, it was the only other than, um, what's the school in Oshawa? University of... Like UOIT? Yeah, yeah. UIT and Lori Brantford were the only schools closest to me that offered forensic psychology programs. And I didn't want to live in Oshawa, mm. so I applied to Laurier and I got in. Nice! I was telling the blog that I applied to Laurier after the deadline. Yeah. I had no backups, so I only applied to Laurier. But I feel like the problem was, I felt like I had to go to university. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, me too. No one was forcing me though. Oh, yeah, I was getting forced. Okay. <laughs> See, like, I know like it's a common thing for parents to force, especially yeah. like in like Asian culture, right? Mm -hmm. So, oh, you gotta go to school or like, oh, you gotta go to like these top schools or whatever. But I know it's definitely an option that you can do like a leaf year or something, right? And that's... Yeah, like I did a gap year. Mm -hmm. Both of my, my mom never went to college and my dad didn't, he dropped out three years in because he became an RCMP officer. Mm -hmm. So he never got his decree. Degree. Degree. <laughs> Degree. <laughs> I had a gap year and I went to Europe and I backpacked with my friend who didn't end up going to university, but she's doing online school now. Mm. So my thing was like, I'm going to travel and see if that's what I want to do. And if I'm not into it, then I'll go to school. And I ended up not being into it. <laughs> so I applied to school and yeah, no regrets, honestly. But like, it's a roller coaster. I've learned a lot of things. Yeah. Time management skills yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. I feel like university teaches you more so to get your life together instead of what you actually learn in lectures. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. if I hadn't gone to university, I'd still be living with my parents. And, like, I feel like that would have held me back a lot. Because I'm Jeez. such, like, a homebody. Uh, so if I hadn't I have, like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> if I hadn't have, like, jumped into moving into residency in university, I probably would still be kicking it in Collingwood, working in Blue <laughs> Mountain. <laughs> like. Yeah. And also, um, I want to bring up trying new things right so for myself personally i did not want to do fylp so oh. fylp is first year leadership program for you guys it's this thing at laurier where we have a bunch of like different councils and they run events for the first years so i was on art hawks and i was on brc which is brantford residence council but to be honest i feel like both of our experience with like fylp was kind of different yeah because we had different events and different leaders yeah so like I feel like my leader was more strict and instead of him wanting us to have fun, he wanted us more to make it a job. For yours, it was like more fun. Yeah. Like, the events we threw was fun. Mm -hmm. So like, I also got to know a lot of people. Yeah, and it, like, it definitely like pushed me out of my comfort zone, especially with like door knocking and like putting up signs or whatever. Yeah. Just like literally walking up to random people's apartments and then just knocking on the door and being like, hey, do you want to come to our event? Like, yeah. it's super awkward yeah. and I'm still like awkward but it puts you out there like it yeah. forces you to talk to people <laughs> um, but yeah um trying something new i would say like always go for it like last year i didn't want to join anything and now i did four things this year yeah. so far in my first year because i was an icebreaker which are basically people who break the ice during orientation week <laughs> <Whoa>. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like all about just like academics when it comes to like figuring exactly. out what you want to do. Exactly. Right? You join those like icebreaker, MSA, those kind of clubs. And hockey team. You want to like figure out and like just like explore new things, right? Yeah. Try like stuff you like. You know what you're it scared is? to do. You, you know, know what it is. You have to seek discomfort. discomfort. <laughs> ah! Seek discomfort, guys. <laughs> we can be our own yes theory. This we is can. our own yes yeah, theory house. Know. That's what I wanted to do, but don't have the equipment, and I'm like. Okay, I don't even have the equipment. I'm using an iPhone 7 Plus that has a cracked screen. Not even a good iPhone. Exactly. You know. 
a girl apart from China, and I'm putting it on <laughs> Kira's bed. So yeah, equipment doesn't matter. I'm like even editing on like iMovie. So yeah, that's true. It's fine. You just have to start. You just have to start. I tried. My I tried recording video games. My computer crashed. <laughs> <laughs> gave up after that. No, yeah, that no, no, okay, but that actually reminds me like getting to know upper years. That's like a great way to like figure out more stuff, right? So mm -hmm. when I came into Laurier, Bradford, I didn't know anyone. Yeah, I didn't. Know I didn't anyone. know a single person except for one person. Me. No, no. you never knew. <laughs> no, you. I knew this one guy. His name is Kevin. Kevin, if you're watching this, love you. He like took me around and he showed me campus before the writing center guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like I know him. He showed me the ropes and they told me about like housing and all that. So basically, I think it's a good idea to talk to upper years as well because they can like give you a lot of insight on like school, extracurriculars, and just like life in general. And you're done. Yeah. Like you lived with we okay, we all lived on the same, same floor. floor. And I lived like with the actual Grand River Hall like, 5, baby. Yes. How was that? It was fun. Like cuz she obviously would have her friends over which were upper years also, so I became friends with them. So now like Natalie's in third no. <laughs> um, and if I ever have <clears throat> questions literally about anything, I'll just text her and she knows the answer right away. So it's it's so sick to have like an update. So event. sick. Well, because they have all the answers. It's great. Yeah. I'm you just know? a college noob. I don't know anything. Uh... Stretch. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good <laughs> way to end our video. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for Anis. Thank you for Kira for coming along on this video. Thank and you for including us in this video. A wonderful so moment. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay, see you in the next video. Bye.